Okay, the frog and the scorpion. You've probably heard it before, so I'll tell the story fast, or the, 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 the little tale of the frog and the scorpion really fast, and then show you how that relates to business with a real-world example that hopefully you'll remember and you'll benefit from some of my pain that I, that I have gone through, all right? Which is part of the reason I do these videos, is to share some of my experiences with you um, so that, uh, you know, there's no need for you to go through a whole bunch of the pain that I've already gone through, hopefully. So the, as the story goes, there is a scorpion who is a natural enemy of the frog, and uh, yet the scorpion needs to cross over to the other side of this pond. And so the scorpion calls out to the frog and says, Hey, would you carry me on your back? Take me across to the other side. And the frog says, No, I mean, you're, you're going to sting me. You're going to sting me and then I'm going to die and, and that kind of thing. And the scorpion says, Why would I do that? Why in the world would I sting you? Because then we would both drown. I guess scorpions can't swim. I don't know. I've never, I, it's just a fable is all it is. So the frog says, that's right. That's right. Why would you sting me? You know, that'd be killing yourself too. So the frog says, all right, I'll do it. Frogs, I guess, are good natured, like most entrepreneurs. And um, so the scorpion gets on the frog's back. They get halfway across the pond, and the scorpion, sure enough, he stings the frog, and now the, they're going down, and they're going to drown. And the last words of the frog is, um, why did you do that? You know, now you're going to die too. Why did, why did you do it? And the scorpion just says, I couldn't help it. That's my nature. I'm a scorpion. I sting frogs. That's what I do. And I know that there are other people that can tell that story a lot better than I can. All right? I'm not a professional storyteller. I just love the story. Because in real world, um, th there are human scorpions are everywhere. And um, you got to look out for these people. Everyone should be somewhat suspect. Somewhat suspect. Everyone should be. And... Um, but when you get a feeling about a person that maybe this person isn't right or you can't trust them, go with your gut. Um, I know it's this whole innocent till proven guilty kind of thing, but I think it should be actually the, the reverse. I really do. And, and look, I'm an optimist. I love people. I think people are basically good. But I also believe what uh, my friend Dan Kennedy taught me early on, which is this. Now, this is Dan's theory, not mine, but I, I do believe it's more right than wrong. Dan says that um, there are 2% of the people in this world that are just so honest. They would never, ever, ever cheat you out of anything. They wouldn't take a pen or, um, or, or whatever. You know, I mean, if they charge you for an hour, they're going to work as hard as they can during that hour. They're going to... They would never think about being dishonest with you in any way, shape, or form. They're incapable of it. According to Dan, that represents 2% of the people. Then, there are 2% of the people who are just out-and-out out thieves. They'll rob you blind. You know, you, you gotta, whatever, if it's not bolted to the ground, they're going to steal it. And they're going to find any way that they can to screw you over. They're going to take everything that they can get. They're going to clean your house, so to say. They're, they're going to leave you, um, they're, they're, they're going to, they're going to do everything possible to destroy you, basically. Um, hopefully, you know, as many of those people are locked up in prison, throw away the key. But unfortunately, you don't know who those people are all the time. Um, now, Dan says the rest of the people, as for the other 96%, if the situation's just right or whatever, they may or may not be dishonest or something or steal from you or whatever. Now, that's just Dan talking, okay? Uh, and I'm not sure that it's right in every detail. What I do know is I agree completely with the fact that there is that 2% of the, of, of the population that are just, they're going to they're gonna 
tell you whatever they think you want to hear. They're going to lie to you constantly. They're going to do everything possible to manipulate you. Uh, and if and if they work for you, they're going to rob you blind if you let them. I'm dealing with a situation like this at my own company right now, and I won't go into details because it's going to be a long, drawn-out court kind of thing. And um, right now, I'm, I'm supposed to keep my mouth shut about it. But I will say it's painful. It's always painful when, when somebody lies to you and they cheat you out of a bunch of money or whatever. Um, I've had it happen throughout the years with other employees, and uh, one of them went to jail for a while. Uh, it's a sad situation, but frog and the scorpion. You know, if you get a, a sense that somebody is dishonest, go with your gut. I realize that sometimes we're overly paranoid and you know, we see things that aren't there. We make little things into big things. I know that. But better to be on the safe side. And um, I like I like what um, and Andrew Grove, I think is his name. He wrote a book called Only the Paranoid Survive. I really love that title. I bought the book. I read the first chapter. So, you know, it's in my bookcase now. But Only the Paranoid Survive. So be very, very, very careful because the human scorpions are out there. Hope this video has helped. If it has, reach out to me. Tell me your own sad stories, please. Let's, uh, let's lament, you and I. Let's start a conversation. My website is heytj.com. That's H-E-Y-T-J.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to my story. Bye for now.